The Cold Bore CL330 is right here. I'm just using the cone that comes with it. And at the moment I have it on, let's have a look, 6,596%. I haven't touched the red-green at all. Now it goes all the way up from 2,700 to 6,500, much like those three right there. And what I'm doing is I've got the Amaron on a little bit. It's on like 16%, so it's not on a lot. And I'm doing a reel for Polo Pro right there. That is the Slate 2. I got some diapers. That is a Pampers, a diaper, just to make some snow. And this is what it looks like. It looks pretty damn nice, if you can see that. And um, that might actually be the, um, the thumbnail for the reel. So what's happening is that light is coming in really harsh. It's creating these shadows, that, as you can see from above, look pretty damn nice. And it's created a really kind of realistic look. I'm going to put this um, photo up on the screen so you guys can see. Today we're talking about cold ball lights. The cold ball CL330 and the cold ball CL60 range. I've got three of them. And I can turn them on with the app. So... Right there is the CL60R, and right there is the CL330. The 330 is actually a 330 watt lamp. It's a COB, it's pretty huge, and it has a COB cover before anybody asks, which is really great, because you can, you know, tap it, smack it, and nothing's gonna happen to your investment. Your COB LED is always gonna be safe. The CL330 comes in at $485, and it's bicolor from 2,700 Kelvin to 6,500 Kelvin with a green magenta shift. And it's got a CRI of 96 and a TLCI of 97, and it has 10 special effects, which is really, really great. In fact, all these lamps have special effects. It's a pretty large lamp because it is a 330 watt lamp. The CL60 range, so the CL60R, which you can see right here, which Believe it or not, is RGB, and it's a tiny, tiny little lamp. In fact, I've got one right here. This is the CL60M. Look at that, isn't that, it's, it's minuscule. So the CL60R comes in at $199. The CL60, which is a bicolor lamp, comes in at $128. And the CL60M comes in at $109, but that is daylight only, and all of them have a CRI of 97, so that's really high. These lamps are very color accurate. You're not gonna get weird colors on someone's faces, but they have one downside. The CL60s, that is, they don't have a COB protector. So if a fly, if anything, if dust lands on the COB, you might be in a little bit of trouble. I personally haven't had that happen, but I've seen it happen to a lamp where the COB basically had a nice black hole in it because something fell on it. In the next future versions, I really hope that cold bore doesn't cut corner and they put a COB protector on top so you can't physically touch the actual LED right there, the diode. That would make things a lot more professional and it would really keep your investment safe forever, really. But like I said, I've never had a problem with that. I do have a few lights like the small rig that do not have COB covers and they're still working. I worry about them sometimes, but they're still working. Anyway, back to these lights. The CL60R has the most effects because it's got 13 effects because it is an RGB light. The CL60 has 10 effects because it is a bicolor light. And the CL60M has seven effects because it is only a daylight lamp and it can't do different colors and it can't go from CCT. So, you know, that's why it costs $109, which is almost nothing for a light that's made out of metal, has got a cover, comes with a case, comes with a mini reflector, comes with a NATO full-size Bowens mount, which means that you basically have the light and you stick it on. And right there, that is it. You could stick on the reflector, you can stick on lanterns, you can stick on softboxes free of which Colbor has sent me the BP45, the BP60, and the BP90, which is the largest. The 45 is 59, the 65 is 99, and the 90 is $119. They're all parabolic, they're all quick release, so you can quickly open them up and you can quickly fold them down without playing around with putting in, you know, rods and stuff, which is really, really good. They all come with a flat case, 
They all come with a honeycomb grid and they all come with two diffusers. So they're really, really fantastic. You can't use the BP90 on the CL60 lights because it is way too big, it weighs too much. So you can only use it on the CL220 and the CL330. But it is really, really nice. It gives you really nice soft light. And for what it is, one of the best parabolic octobosses I've used in my life. Let's get to the power management, right? Because these CL60s are a little bit unusual. They have a power brick, which is PD, and it uses a USB-C. So there's USB-C on the end of this cable. It does come with a nice, you know, little loop so you can put it on your tripod and it doesn't have to be dangling down. Same with the CL330. Now this is a 90 watt power adapter with PD. So you plug it into your light and it will go at 100%. If you have your own power adapter that's 90 watts or larger, it will go to 100%. My power bank didn't work with it at all because it was too weak, but if you have a power station or a strong power bank, it will light it. And I do have an anchor 30 watt adapter that will take it to 55% and no higher. If I go any higher, the light basically turns off. You also do get a power cable depending on where you are. And you get obviously the instruction manual, a carrying strap, a handle, everything in the case, and you get a NATO rail studio adapter, which is pretty cool because it will swivel up and down. So if you undo it, it will swivel all the way up and all the way down. And it has something that Cobalt wanted me to mention, which is a cable clamp. So you can put the cable through here and clamp it down. They asked me to mention it. It's not something I use because I have seen accidents in the past where somebody's tripped over the cable and the whole lamp went down. I prefer a cable loose. So if somebody does trip it on it, it will just pull out and nothing will happen with your expensive lamp. I do like NATO rails and they're really quick and they are fast to use. And you can actually get a NATO rail from Colbor. It's, you know, tagged that you can put onto your lamp and it's got quarter 20s. So you can use this for quarter 20s and free apes and you can mount anything on it. That's pretty fantastic. And like I said, ah, all quick release. So you basically chuck all this in, you put on the silicone protector to protect your LED, stick it all in there, close it down, and you are done. Now, you can power it in four ways. You can also have an MPF adapter from Sony. I don't have it, but you can put two MPFs on and you can power the CL60s that way. You can power with a power bank, a power station, the USB-C, and you can power it with a V-mount adapter that I don't have, but is coming my way, is V-mount to USB-C. So that's pretty cool. You've got a few ways to power it. The CL330, you have a V-mount, so you can use one V-mount to power it to 45% or two V-mounts to power it to 100%, or you can use the actual power brick, which powers it to 100%. Now, if you want to see 100%, please beware. Please beware. That's 100%. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty bright. I'm going to put it that back down to 25%, Just, but it is a very, very bright light, which has a really good reflector. It comes in a really nice big case where you can stick everything and you don't have to worry about when you're traveling. It's a nice, serious light that you can control fully, just like the CL60s, from the actual control panel behind it. It's got two rockers and four buttons that will let you can get through the whole menu, I'll let you change effects, I'll let you change menu items, let you to... What the hell is that, Phil? It will let you to, to pair the remote control. It's 2.4 gigahertz remote control. It's, it's got a sticker underneath, look. So it doesn't move and you can just put it on the desk and you can swivel it to change your intensity. You can change the CCT if you press it down and turn it. It's, it's, it's really got quite a lot of functions and it comes in at $34. It's called the CTRL1. That's, that's a lot for me to say, but yeah, that's what it's called. And it works from about 15 meters. It's a button battery in there, like, you know, your air tags so that's pretty cool but you control it via the app which is called the cold ball studio and you can basically just go from you know all the way up there and you can go all the way down to 2700 all the way up to 6500 and you can turn it off so that's pretty cool the cl 60r you know it, it does a lot of stuff it's pretty cool it's got gels it's got cct you can change basically everything with the cl 60r such a fantastic little small light. And I do love that it has this app, the Colbor Studio, but it also has a second app called the Colbor Edge Max app, which you can change and update firmware with it. So Colbor's given you a lot of features for very, very little money. The fact that it has physical buttons 
NATO rails, you can change the fan noise, it's all metal, it's got cable clamps and you can power it in a few different ways, makes these core ball lights really, really highly recommendable. I've been using them for a couple of months since Core Ball sent them out to me and I gotta say, I haven't had any problems. I really do love the light that they create, especially with the soft boxes. I do enjoy that they're quick release because some soft boxes you have to, you know, like the aperture one that I have here is basically putting in rods. It takes me a few minutes, whereas these are just and you are cooked. Now they have something called the matrix control system, which much like photography lights uses one light as a master and the rest of slaves. So you can turn one on and whatever you do with one, it's going to happen to all of them because you can use NATO rails to connect, you know, three, six of them, the CL sixties, same with the actual, um, CL, where is it? CL330, you can get these NATO rails and you can connect CL330 to another CL330 to another CL330 and you can create a monster setup. So that's pretty insane. This NATO rail is called the MB3.58, just in case you guys are looking for it. And it's, 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 it's basically a little, you know, cheese. It's, it's cheese. If you have any questions about these fantastic lights, I hope you liked my examples that I did for the Polar Pro Reel, because using these was fun and it came out really, really great. And I hope you liked the portraits on me with the softbox. Any questions, comments down below. If you did like my video, give me a like, that really helps. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And you know, ring the bell. That's gonna help bring more people in and get more stuff out. My name's Philip Scrubber, by the way. I hope you had as good a time as I did. Love these lights. Thanks, Colball. You guys are really killing it because the first light I got from you was the worst thing in the world. It's still in the room of death and it's covered in dust. Never using that, but these I will be using all the time.